Father Almighty, through the death and resurrection of his only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, has reconciled the whole world unto himself for the forgiveness of sins. Through the ministry of the Church, may God grant you pardon and peace, and absolve you of your sins, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thank you, Father. Um, uh, Father, can I, can I ask you a question? Oi, Patrick. Do you remember a few months back when I uh, came to ask you some uh, questions? Hmm. Let me think. I think you were breaking up with your girlfriend, fighting with your roommate and looking for a place for yourself. Yeah, and throughout all that, uh, I ended up alienating a friend. Oi, the last who helped you find a roommate? Yeah, yeah exactly. That, that's who I want to talk to you about. Hmm, okay. Well, um, we, we actually reconciled. Patrick, my lad, it's very important to mend fences in your life. And as a matter of fact, we're uh, uh, going in, going out to dinner tonight. Oh, really? Uh, well, she's um, she's Lutheran. Okay. And uh, you know, if if um, you know things got more serious, if I wanted to go all in, um, how do I how do I put this? Um, I'm just gonna say it. Uh, how do I get her to convert? Patrick, my lad. All these things come in due time. First, you have to earn her respect. Then she'll respect you. See if she's willing to come with you to Mass. That's a great idea, Father. Thank you, thank you. Don't forget, she's Lutheran. She's halfway home. <laughs> Something to think about. <laughs> thank you, Father. <laughs> well, I hope to see both of you in church. Confession's over in about 10 minutes, right? I, I know, I know. I, I'll go in there in a minute. Uh, how you doing? I, I saw on Facebook you, your post said something about uh, starting over, taking chances. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, uh, I'm moving out of my apartment. Uh, I, I uh, had this roommate. He's very anal. That's good. No, 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 no. That, that's bad. Right, right. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to yeah. be dealing with stuff like that. Um, no, no, good for you, man. Uh, it's great. You're getting out on your own. Uh, hey, uh, 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 why don't you message me on Facebook? Uh, maybe I can come over and hang out sometime. Uh, uh, we could go bowling. Uh, do, do you like bowling? Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Um, I, I, I gotta take off, though. Um, I'll message you later. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm off to Top Shelf Menswear. This is where I acquired the vast majority of my clothing. Upside, it's cheap. Downside, the clothing is mediocre. I learned a tidbit about Lena, is that uh, she loves the color blue. Dark blue, to be exact, which my wardrobe is currently lacking. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, and it's a touchdown. He is jubilant, he praises the heavens, now here's to hoping it fits. I, I am still carrying some holiday weight. And success in record time, too. Come to think of it, uh, all that gesturing made me a bit sweaty. At least I still have enough time to uh, perhaps put on another layer of deodorant before Lena gets here. That is, if the traffic isn't bad. Which it wasn't. Lucky me. Now, 
Now, I'm not going to say that uh, this shirt makes meeting up with Lena a sure thing. But for at least a little bit, it feels that way. It's good to have confidence. Mom, Pop, what are you guys doing here? Just brought some of your stuff and some food and surprise you. Surprise! Yeah, I am surprised. How did you guys get in? I just talked to the super. You know, just told him we were mom and dad. And he just let you in? Well, he was reluctant at first, but then your mom showed him a picture of you to prove who we were. What picture? Yeah, look, I still carry your senior photo in my wallet. Huh. Hey, Patrick, did you hear about the drama at the convent? Hey, what, what drama? Yeah, what drama? Oh, it's none of your business. <laughs> Get it? None of yours? Yeah, good one, Pop, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, have you eaten? No, 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 not yet. Uh, I've got a dinner I gotta get ready for. Oh, yeah? Dinner with who? Well, uh, just, just a friend of mine. You wouldn't know her, you know? It's, uh... Mm. Oh, oh, um, I gotta, I gotta take this here. Um, oh, I, I, I think that's, uh, probably her. Pop, do you mind, uh, getting that? Okay, I'll get it. Hello? Yeah, I, I, I gotta get going. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, bye. Hi, I'm Patrick's mom, but you can call me Mary. I'm Patrick's other dad. You can call me Joseph. It's nice to meet you, Mary and Joseph. Um, will you guys be joining us for dinner? No, no, no. They, they uh, have to get going to um, the... Um, uh, the... Maybe we could join them. Well, if we leave now, we can make church. Oh, well, perhaps another day then. No. We usually like to go on Saturdays. Lana, what day do you like to go? Um, Sundays. <laughs> do you guys go to the same church? Not really. I was just going to ask her if uh, she wanted to go with me tomorrow. To your church? Yeah. Uh, I think I just might. Oh, a couple that prays together stays together. We're, we're, we're not a couple. Uh... Well, I'm uncomfortable. How about you? Patrick, I left you some food in the fridge. Oh. Thanks, Mom. Tell him what else you bought him. Oh, yeah, I bought you some underwear. She bought me some underwear, too, son. So rejoice and be glad. Yay. <laughs> well, it was nice to meet you, Lana. Nice to meet you. See you, guys. Don't forget to call me when you uh, get there. I won't. Uh, sorry about all that. What do you mean? I like beating them. They make a cute couple. No, uh, should we get going? Uh, do you mind if I drive separately? I have some friends I'm meeting with afterwards. Sure. Okay. Oh, thanks for dinner. You're welcome. Oh, looks like my mom's calling me. Sorry. Okay. Hey, Mom. Yeah, um, I'm with Patrick. You remember me telling you about him? Well... I mean, well, I'm Lutheran, which is half Catholic. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, can I call you back? Okay. Love you. Bye. Moms. <laughs> everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Oh! What's that? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> is it your mom? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, it's, uh, it's Melissa. Oh, Melissa? Yeah, she's that uh, the girl that uh, dumped me for the convent and uh, somehow just reappeared and found me. I still don't know how she found me. Facebook, perhaps? Probably. So, uh, what does she want? Well, she's uh, going on a mission trip to El Salvador, and uh, I think she wanted to say goodbye. Oh, so what are you going to do? I do kind of want to meet up with her and, you know, I, I kind of want to get back that promise ring that I gave her. Oh, a uh, promise ring? It's a, it's, a, it's a long and kind of kind of complex story, you know? I, I guess if you say so. I could probably sell it online, you know, get some money back for rent. That'd be, that'd be good. Then uh, I guess you should try and get your ring back. I think I will, you know? Uh, plus, she's not going to know that, uh, you know, I, I have any sort of ulterior motive either. So it's, it's good. Yeah, guess not. <laughs> Oh. Is that your mom calling again? Uh, no, actually, it's my sister Amber. She wants me to babysit tomorrow morning. Oh. 
Oh, does that does that mean that uh, you're not going to be able to make it for church tomorrow? Oh, yeah, I, I guess not. Um, uh, but thanks for again for dinner and give me a call tomorrow. I will. All right, see ya. See ya. Good morning, Mr. Fleming, and, uh... Good morning, Patrick. This is Angelic R. Temp. Oh, nice to meet you. Likewise. She'll be filling in while Desiree's on vacation. I, I look forward to working with you this week. Me too. So, as I was saying, there'll be no face chatting or snap tubing or twaddling or you booking while you're on the clock. Yes, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mr. Fleming. Patrick, how was your weekend? That was a, uh, a nice, long, eventful one. Good, good. Glad to hear it. Oh, Mr. Fleming, there is a Heather for you on line one. Thank you, Angelica. Excuse me, Patrick. Now remember, though, no face chatting or uh, snap tubing. <laughs> or twaddling or something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, seriously, though, we, we are pretty laid back here. Thank you. That's, that's good. Uh, you should see some of the places I worked at before. Oh, yeah? Yeah, let's just say I'm glad it was a temp. Huh. Is there a reason why you're uh, kind of going the temp route? Or did you just graduate recently or something? How'd you guess? Well, lucky guess. Yeah, I graduated a year ago, but I just moved to the area three months ago. I've lived here for about six months now. Oh, do you like the area? I do, I do. Good. Finding a full-time job has been hard, but I did find a church I really like. Yeah, really? Yeah, it's uh, right around the corner. It's non-denominational, which I like, and the community is second to none. Yeah, so, uh, so you're a Christian then? Uh, yes, I am. Are you? Why, yes, I am. We're having a movie night on Saturday. You should come. Uh, maybe. Uh, what's, uh, what's the movie? I can't remember the name. Something, something in the air. Hmm. Apparently it's a Christian comedy film. It sounds kind of like an oxymoron. <laughs> I know, right? It should be pretty good. It's an award-winning film. Hmm. Oh, I gotta take this. I'm sorry. See you around. I'll catch you later. Oh, hey. Uh, oh, just hang on a second. I gotta get somewhere where I can actually talk. Um, Say, so, hey, Melissa, it's been a while. Are you, you're, you're, you're back? Wait, wait a minute. Uh, okay, okay. Um, so, well, maybe we should, uh, we should like meet up sometime or uh, you want to meet up then? Okay. Um, it, um, well, how about, uh, how about you, um, yeah, so just, uh, just tell me uh, where and when and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be there. Okay, goodbye. What have I done? Patrick. Michael. Come in. How's it going? Good, good, good. Been like six months. So, what's her name? Again, how did you know? Tell me about her. Well, it's, it's, it's actually the same girl. Melissa, is it? Yeah. Last we talked, I believe I suggested you give her a promise ring. And how'd that go? It worked? I, she still has the ring. All right. Success. Okay. <sighs> What happened? Oh, so I've got something to tell you. Oh, thank you. Does this decision involve a uh, certain someone? S someone that I'm going to serve for my life and serve happily. And who might this person be? Jesus. Oh, you really like it. Cool. My decision. Yeah. Uh, wait, what, what, what decision? 
I'm going to live my life for God. I'm going to serve him by joining a convent. Jesus? Yeah. Oh, God. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so that was like six months ago, so I'm confused. Is she still in the convent? <laughs> oh, sorry, man. Uh, it, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, it, it's kind of kind of complicated. Um, mm. I, I think she kind of left the convent for me. Congratulations. <sighs> or not? Yeah. Okay, so tell me, Patrick, why are you so afraid to commit? I'm not afraid to commit. You know, it, it, it's just sort of complicated. Oh no. <sighs> What's her name? Well, the the second her is named uh, Lena. Uh, she's basically the, the first person that I met when I moved to Harrisburg. And uh, uh, she actually introduced me to uh, my now former roommate. Um, uh, we, we really hit it off as, as friends. Uh, but thanks to my ridiculousness, I, 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 we kind of had a falling out. But we patched it up again. But, but she's Lutheran. Oh. And, and, uh, it's cool. It's fine. Okay, so what about Melissa? You know that, uh, that, that ring that I gave her? You're thinking about getting the ring back from Melissa and giving it to Lena? Yeah. Bad idea, man. You think so? I know so. Why not just let Melissa keep the ring, and then you can get it? Oh, and, and let her think that I'm gonna like propose to her someday. No, no, okay. no that's that's not happening. Okay. So, what can I do for you, Michael? You've been uh, a friend of mine for a very long time. I, I've come to depend on you, uh, and I was hoping that uh, you know you would you would support me on this decision. Patrick, you know I'm always behind you. And if this is what you think you need to do, I, I do. And I'll support you. Does Lena know about the ring? She she does know about this particular ring. I I told her I was gonna hack it. Well, let's just hope that when you give the ring to Lena, she doesn't realize it's the exact same one. I'm gonna clean it, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna make it look all, all sparkly and and uh, new looking and stuff like that. Good luck with that. Thanks. I gotta take off. Um, oh, oh, you know Stan? Stan man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's gonna come out and uh, hang out tomorrow. I think. Uh, I think we're gonna go bowling or something like that. Oh, cool. Yeah. I hear he married Abby Lewis. Yeah, yeah. Um, I saw on Facebook that he's got uh, you know three kids now, and, and he's got like a sister-in-law that's gonna be moving in with him too. I'm sure he could use a night out. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him I said hi. Will do. All right, Dad. I gotta take off. All right. Good luck with Melissa. And later. <laughs> Thanks. Something uh, seems oddly familiar about this place. Well, yeah, they have one back at home, silly. <laughs> That's right. It, it, it still feels really identical, though. So you have your own apartment and live by yourself now? Why, yes. How do you like it? Does it get scary? Do you get lonely? <laughs> no, not at all, you know. Uh, it, it, it's cool that you came out to, uh, to visit, though, you know. We do still have to go shopping at the outlets. Yes, that's right. Say, could I maybe crash at your place tonight? Yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. I just know I won't want to make the long drive home. I'll be up and out by the crack of dawn. It'll be like I wasn't even there. Mi casa is tu casa. Patrick, that's really sweet. Anyways, uh, so how was the convent? Well, I'm glad you asked. I thought that would be the life for me, you know, living my life for God. But I was reading my Bible one night, and there it was. I can still live my life for God by marrying and being fruitful. Oh, so you figure you're, uh, you're going to get married to some guy. I wonder who. You. <laughs> wait, wait, what, what? Yeah, I thought about it and I'm certain now. So you, you figure that your destiny is to be with me. Yeah, I've been thinking about it, and, you know, I'm going to take some time. That's why this mission trip to El Salvador is so important to me. You know, think things through, 
make sure this is what I want. I mean, I know how you feel. You did give me this promise ring. I'll be back in a year. <sighs> Nope, from Melissa. Hey Patrick, thank you so much for letting me stay here last night. See, I told you I'd be gone before you get up. I wanted to tell you that last night was special to me. You're a great guy, and I'm so happy that you're in my life. I can't wait to see you when I get back. I'll miss you. Love, Melissa. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> Elena. Yeah, this is Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I was thinking maybe we could uh, head on over to the... Um... Who's Nate? Oh, well, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you guys. That's, that's great. That's... Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, see you around. Yeah, bye. Yeah, great. So now I'm competing with some knucklehead named Nate. Unless I beat him to the punch. What have I got to lose? Can't lose my self-respect because I don't have any. Can't lose my dignity because I don't have any. You can't really lose anything that you don't have. Right? Hi, Patrick. Uh, what are you doing here? Well, I, I was in the neighborhood, and I knew you weren't doing stuff until uh, later, you know, so I figured I'd stop by and see what you're up to. I'm busy. Well, doing what? Stuff. Well, when you're done with stuff, do you want to go out and uh, do something, you know? Uh, you know, we can go shopping with my money? I don't think so. Well, why not? Um, how about you ask Melissa? Why would I ask Melissa about anything? I, I don't even really like her. <sighs> All right. Come on in, it's open. Hey man, what's up? Hey, it's going good. Hey, uh, you want one? No, no thanks. <laughs> now grape. That's my jam. <laughs> Patrick, Patrick, Patrick. It is a wonder you don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> now speaking of which, um, I was looking at Facebook the other day and I saw a picture of your uh, your wife's sister. Oh, Chantal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she's single. Ah, cool. <laughs> hey, hey, can you can you hook a brother up? I will. <laughs> hey. Mm. What what are you what are you calling her? No, <laughs> texting her. Huh. Guess we wouldn't want to seem desperate or something. Yeah, it might take her a while to get back to me. She hmm. responded. Yep. Oh. <laughs> and she said yes. <laughs> yes to what? To go on a date with you. Uh, that, that's all it took is texting? Well, she just got out of a bad relationship. Huh. Well, great. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, she is exactly your type. <laughs> Except, well, she can be a little shy. Shy's good. Sh shy can be good. Yeah. Hey, you want to get going? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll drive. <laughs> oh man. All right. All right. Hey, thanks for asking, Chantel. Oh, you're welcome. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? Ah, shoot. Out of gas? Yep. According to Ziggy... What, what's Ziggy, an app? 
that's the name of my phone. According to Ziggy, there's a gas station a little less than a mile and a half from here. All right, so uh, Shoe Leather Express? Let's do this. All right. Wait, wait, uh, also, according to Ziggy, we gotta leave some sort of white cloth hanging out of the window so they don't think the car's abandoned. I, I, I don't have any, uh, rags or anything like that. I, it's, it's... Yes, you do. No, no, no I, I'm not gonna take my shirt off. What, what am I gonna go to, a gas station shirtless or something like we'll that? We'll get it when we come back. It's not gonna Just take it. Oh, no, just, just, just take it. Oh. Hey guys, is there something I can help you with? Yeah, I kind of ran out of gas. Um, can we, um, can we get, can I get a ride maybe to the, the gas station or something like that? I don't normally do this, but you know, saddle up, partner. Uh, see you in a little bit, Stan. You must be Patrick. Chantel, right? Yeah. You know, you look much taller in your pictures. So, um, where's, uh, where's Stan and Abby? Their babysitter had to cancel. Oh. So, looks like it's just you and me, kiddo. Yeah. Welcome to Patsy's Pizza. Can I get you something to drink? Uh, well, two waters, please. Coming right up. I wanted a soda. No, you didn't. Soda has way too much sugar. Well, maybe a diet, you know? Still, though, it has so much caffeine. And I don't need you all jittery. Okay, then. Okay. Two waters. Are you guys ready to order them? Um, not quite yet. Can you give us a minute? Sure. No Thank problem. you. So, how are you doing? Good. You know, I was thinking. I know I shouldn't be talking about this, but... Okay. I just need to get something off my chest. Sure, sure. It's my ex, Rob. I don't know if I still love him. I mean, I feel like I do. I, I feel like, you know, we were meant to be together in some way. And it's so complicated. I, I, I just go back and forth and I think about it. And I feel like the last couple of days I've just been mulling over it, you know? Like, do I love him? Do I not? I don't understand it, you know? I feel like I do get along with him and I, I want to... Sorry, excuse me. Are you guys ready to order yet? No, I'm sorry, not quite yet. Oh, okay. Uh, give us a minute. You know, 
I mean, do I want to be with him? I was together with him for so long, and I feel like he's familiar, you know? And I, I you know, I just, I, so like, there's different things, like things that I like and things that he doesn't like. I mean, like the other day, you know, we went to a restaurant and, or we were trying to pick a restaurant. Actually, let's go back there. We were trying to pick a restaurant and all he likes to eat is pizza. And I like to try new things, you know? I like to try Mexican and Indian and Thai. I love Thai. But he, all he wants to do is pizza. I mean, I can't do that. Travel. I love to travel, you know? I want to see different places. He doesn't like to travel. He doesn't even like to get on a plane. He hates plane. I mean, I can't live with that, right? But I was with him for a really long time, so maybe I do want to be with him. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if he wants to travel or not, right? I mean, you can just not travel and just be with him. And I don't know, I just feel like I'm so confused. Like, just, excuse me, are you ready to order yet? I'm not hungry anymore. Oh wait, okay. he's calling me. I gotta go. Yeah, kid? You left your cell phone on the table back oh. there. Oh, thanks, kid. She sure is pretty. Who? Uh, your date there. The one that's leaving without you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We, we didn't come together. Oh, do you have to wait for your mom to pick you up, too? No. No, no, no. I, I have a car. <laughs> Don't act like it. <laughs> what, what, what's that supposed to mean? Well, what responsible adult leaves his or her cell phone on the table in public where just anyone can pick it up and use it for who knows what when you keep so much personal info on a cell phone? You know, I could have just kept it and made prank calls to your girlfriend, but no, I'm honest and responsible enough at my age. Look, see this? This is my cell phone. I have yet to ever leave it behind. You should be more careful next time. Or your girlfriend might be getting a call from someone like me telling her how irresponsible you are. I'll, I'll be more careful. Better. Uh, bamboo shark. Oh, I'll have to check it out. Outro. Lena. Uh, this is Nate. This is this is Aaron. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Isn't this place great? A pizza place that serves both ice cream and pizza. What a concept. Have you tried the waffle ice cream? There's a waffle flavor ice cream? It's silly. It's ice cream served on a waffle. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Does that make sense? Does it? I thought it did. No, yeah. we, we ought to go. Hey, Lena, um, can, you, can you guys just give us a minute real quick? Sure. Yeah. Right. So what did you want to talk about? Well, Lena, I've been meaning to ask you, why why didn't you, well, why, why aren't we... Uh, a couple? Yeah. Dating? Yes. Uh, Patrick, every time we hung out, you talked about other girls. Kind of a big turnoff. Well, we were just friends, you know? Patrick, not the way to go. You know, right before Melissa left, I found out she stayed the night at your house. So? Patrick? Oh, well, I, how'd you find out about that? Does it even matter? I mean, not really. Yeah, she did stay over. I don't want to be just one of those girls you have fun with. I want a serious relationship, somebody that's committed to just me. So, makes your answer to that? Hey, are you about ready? The movie's about to start in 20 minutes. Uh, uh, yeah, let, let's get going. Uh, I'll see you when I see you. Hey, Patrick, how are you? Yeah, good, good. What did the Zen master say to the hot dog vendor? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Make me one with everything. <laughs> what do you call a deaf dog? I, I, I give up. Don't matter. He isn't going to come anyway. <laughs>
<laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> so it, yeah, I, I've been meaning to ask you. What's uh, that? I went by the desk earlier, and, and there's nobody behind it. Yeah, Angelica's going to be late today. Oh, okay. So what happened with Desiree? Oh, yeah, I meant to tell you that. Um, she won't be back. Do you, uh, did you let her go? Oh, no, 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 no. When she was on vacation, get this, her uncle died. Oh, that's horrible. No, that's good. Good, good, good for who? Good for her. How so? Well, you see, the uncle that passed away, now, you're going to love this, he was a millionaire, and he leaves her a chunk of change. So when she said she had a rich uncle, she wasn't kidding? No, guess not. So it looks like we'll be hiring Angelica, but don't say anything, because we have to go through the interview process. And uh, But she's doing a good job, so it won't be a problem. Well, uh, your decision, you're the boss. Yes, I am. Well, I better get back to work. I, uh, I don't have a rich uncle. <laughs> That's okay. Maybe someday you'll get lucky. For some odd reason, I was particularly interested in this film. Me too. You know, I heard it's about a Catholic and a Protestant who are roommates. Now that sounds like a good concept for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's about to start. Enjoy the show. Why not? I, I mean, uh, uh, I, I see your point. So, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure thing. Thanks. So, what do you think my chances are of getting hired full time? Well, from what I've been hearing from uh, Mr. Fleming, uh, from, from what he's been saying, I, I, um, I think you're in the clear. In the clear? Uh, you, um, uh, he's probably going to offer you the job. That's fantastic. What a relief. Yeah, sure thing. So, a Angelica, can I ask you a question? No, no, go right ahead. So, so you're, not, you're not dating anybody right now, right? That's correct. All right, so what do you look for in a potential suitor? Well, a uh, sense of humor, intelligence, but above all, he has to glorify God in everything. I see. What about you? What do you mean? What do you look for in a potential mate? Well, um, well, she has to, um... You know, Angelica, I have no idea. I'm sure you'll know when the time is right and the right person comes along. Well, well, well. You guys know each other? Yeah, this is the uh, the friend of my former roommate. Are you here for Bible study? Oh, there's Bible study tonight. Yeah, the young adult group meets every Saturday. Um, how about you, Catholic? Catholic? It, it, it's a nickname. Um... So you, you go to Bible study on Tuesdays and Saturdays? Twice Friday. <sighs> well, you can never have too much Bible. Maybe I'll go. Well, Matthew, looks like you get another one for your book club. It's not a book club. He loves that. <laughs> so I thought about uh, what Angelica said. I, I figured I'd have to look up my old online profile subscription to this uh, dating website to remind me of what I said I'm looking for in a potential mate. Is anyone ever completely truthful in those things? But I did make a date with this girl for this afternoon. Her name is Devorah. So, it looks like she likes ice cream, long walks in the park, trees, hot air balloons, and boat rides. I couldn't afford a balloon or a boat, so I figured some ice cream and a walk through uh, trees would hit the rest of the checklist.
and then we split up. So now we're just friends and roommates. Just friends, just just roommates. Yep. So can we see each other again? I I don't. I'm sure. Um, I've got a uh, a pig roast coming up this weekend. Uh, if you're interested. Um. No, I don't think so. I'm Jewish. <laughs> Well, we're, um, we're from different worlds. I don't think this is going to work out. Shalom! Hey, how's it going? Good, good. You, uh, you been here yet? Yeah, a few times actually. Yeah, this is this is where Melissa took me uh, before she went off to El Salvador. <laughs> Good times, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, my mother uh, always said that uh, life is like a blind man with a gun. You never know what you're gonna get. Do you know what you're gonna get? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to get me some. Oh, <laughs> lads. Hi, Father! Yeah. Hello, lad. Father, I, I, I just wanted to uh, say thank you again for the advice that you gave me. Oh, you're always welcome. It's what I do. It's part of the ministry. Point people in the right direction. You know, come to think of it, I didn't see a female in your arm last time I seen you in church. So I suppose it didn't work out between you and the Lutheran? No, no it didn't, uh, but I, I, I learned a valuable lesson. Oh, what might that be? Don't take anything for granted. Oh, it's a fine lesson to learn early in life rather than later. But hopefully the next time I see you in church, you'll have a fine last along your arm. Hopefully. All right, well, God bless you. Have a fine day. Thank you, Father. Hey, um, what happened with that girl that helped us out that day? Um... Aaron was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that didn't work out. <sighs> Jeez. <laughs> what happened there? Yeah, I was into uh, dating exclusively, and she was into dating other people exclusively. Oh, dude. Bummer. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys ready to order yet? Yeah, um, I think I'm gonna have a vanilla milkshake, please. Yeah, I'll make that a double. Two vanilla milkshakes coming right up. So, uh... Things didn't work out with Chantal, huh? Wow, I'm sorry. I thought for sure she'd be a shoe in She seemed a little, uh, you know, preoccupied. Uh, I'm sorry to hear about that. <laughs> I'd much rather her end up with you than that scumbag Rob. She, she, she's so obsessed by him. Really? <laughs> so, uh, you're single now, huh? Yep. <laughs> well, not for long. Two vanilla milkshakes. Thank you. Hey, uh, my friend has something he'd like to say to you. I, I do? Yes, you do. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, um, you know, I'm not afraid of dying. Oh, okay. Since seeing you, I know what heaven looks like. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. I, I better tell you something else then. No, um, oh, shoot, I, I lost my cell phone number. Could I have yours? <laughs> <laughs> you most certainly can. <laughs> <laughs> and my friend has something else he wants to say to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I was going to go outside and uh, and make out. Do you want to come with? <laughs> well, I am working right now, but um, call me. <laughs> there you go, partner. Ah, jeez. Will you look at this? What? Uh, kid's sick and we're out of milk. talking. At it again. Huh? Getting back on the horse. What? We saw you and overheard everything you said. You did. And? 
What kind of adult talks to a pretty female like that when she's in a very vulnerable position? What do you think she's going to say? No, especially when you proposition her in front of people. What, are you desperate that you can't court a female like a gentleman? Is chivalry dead? Who do you think you are, mister? What do you think you're accomplishing talking to a girl that way? Well, I, I did just get a number. Consider yourself lucky. Leaving already? Yeah, I gotta get going. Um, gotta see my parents. Here, keep the change. Thanks. Call me. Will do. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning. Patrick, how do you make holy water? I don't know, Pop. How do you make holy water? <laughs> you boil the hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good one, Pop. So, Patrick, your friend Lena, she seemed nice. Yeah, she is. So, how's the apartment? It's good. Well, everything's good as long as the Wi-Fi works. <laughs> True that, <dad>, Pop. <laughs> so, um, are you dating anyone new? Well, as, uh, as a matter of fact, I got a, uh, a date upcoming. Is she Catholic? You know, I, I don't know. Well, you know it's important to date within the faith. Um, your friend Lana, she was a good girl. Like, what happened there? Yeah, first off, um, you know, I, I wasn't in love with her. Um, and second, she was and is Lutheran. But she said you went to church together. Well, she said she was going to my church. I, I don't think she knew what you meant. I was under the impression that she was Catholic. Yeah, me too. Well, she isn't, you know? Uh, and to be very honest, I, I don't particularly care when I'm dating a girl uh, what her specific religion is, you know? I, I, I just care that she's Christian. Well, I think that you should talk to a priest about it. I did, and he said go for it with Lena. Was it a Roman Catholic priest? No, it was an existentialist. What's that? Look it up. Um, hi, Sydney. Hi, Patrick. Sydney, it's it's good to. Uh... Are you still driving that same car? Well, yes, I am. Are you still working at the same job? Well, well yeah, yeah. So you're not making any more money? Well, I, I, I did get a raise, you know. I mean, I I am making a little bit more money. That, I, hey, hi. Hey, Patrick. Julia, hey, uh, how are you? Thanks for giving me a heads up that you were coming over. Well, I, I, I did text you like 10 minutes ago. You know, that, that that's plenty of time. You think so? Of course. So what can I do for you? Well, I was wondering if we could uh, maybe talk. Let me get my coat. So I saw on, uh, on Facebook that, uh, that you, Sydney, and, and Joseph uh, were out at the park. Sort of looked like a fun time there. It was. Hmm. Joseph a good guy? He is. Is he going to be weirded out by the fact that we're talking like this? Oh, no. He's a very understanding guy. He's very trusting. Hmm. Sometimes a little too trusting. Hmm. So, what can I do for you? Well, I, I kind of feel like I'm in a rut. What do you mean? Do you need money? No, no. It, that'd be nice, but no, no. Um, how should I put this? Um, if things were different, and if um, you didn't have Sydney, would we still be a couple? Wow. That's a loaded question. It's hard to say. Why do you ask? Well, you, you, you said that the reason why we're not uh, boyfriend and girlfriend anymore is, is that uh, I, I wasn't ready to be a father and that I, I didn't really know who I was. 
which is true. Uh, but now... Now? Now what? I, I, I do know. You... You know what? I, I know who I am. And who's that? I'm, I'm, I'm a guy who, uh, who wants to settle down. Uh, but unfortunately, the, the, the females that I've been dating recently haven't seen it that way, or I, I figure that they're not ready. I, I just keep feeling like every one of them is, is, is the one. That's because that's all they are. What's that? Dates. That's all they are. They're just dates. Huh. What's the longest you've ever dated one of these females? Two, three dates. And how many of them do you still talk to? How many of them are still friends? Well, friends on Facebook or what do you... How many of them do you actually... Let, okay, let me put it this way. How many of them do you talk to about other women? I, I think like any of them, you know? And that's your problem. What's that? Patrick, no woman wants to talk about other women unless you're actually friends and just friends. So that's a big no-no. Patrick, the right one will want to talk about things that you want to talk about and show an interest in things that you enjoy, but it's a two-way street. You have to, and this is most important, you have to listen to them. Do you understand? Yeah. Patrick, you're a great guy. I've told you this before. Just don't beat yourself up about this. You'll find the right person at the right time. Be choosy, but be careful. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, let's head back. Good afternoon. Oh, hi. Do you have an appointment? Uh, yeah, I got an appointment at 2 o'clock with Amber. Today? Yeah, today. 2 o'clock, Amber. Oh, cool. You have the same name as Amber, although I've never heard of a guy with that name before. <laughs> no, my name is Patrick. Uh, I have an appointment at 2 o'clock with Amber. Oh, <laughs> duh. Yeah, go ahead and have a seat. She'll be with you shortly. Do you know they shut off our water? Now we have no water. I couldn't even take a shower this morning. Yeah, because you didn't pay it. I, you know what? I can't do this anymore, okay? You need to have your stuff packed by Friday. You told him. Or her? Yeah, I guess I did. You, you kind of look familiar. I get that a lot. <laughs> now wait, you, you go to the First Church of Christ, right? That I do. Do you? Now I go to the Second Church of Christ. Oh, really? No, I'm, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I think I saw it like a, a movie night at the church or something like that. Recently? No, this is, this is a while ago. It's, it's a while ago. Oh, I was going to say, I don't think we had a movie night at our church in about nine months or so. Yeah. No, it was the, uh, the guest of uh, a co-worker, Angelica. Oh, yeah, I know Angelica. She's very sweet. Sheila, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Come on back. Sheila, nice, uh, nice talking. You as well. Hey, Patrick. Amber. Are you ready? Yep. Come on back. Ooh. So, you just missed Lena. Lena? Yeah. She was here. Yeah. So, what do you want? You're talking to me? Uh, just, a, just a trim. Okay. So, have you two been talking? 
Actually, no. Really? Yep. So, what happened? What did she do? No, no, no. It was... I, I, I gotta admit, it was me. Oh? Yeah, basically, I took our uh, friendship for granted, and uh, she kicked me to the curb. Wow. Brutal. I deserved it. Well, someday you'll find somebody that you really deserve. And so people keep telling me. Well, Lena wasn't the one. I'm sorry it didn't work out between you. It's a real shame. Well, go have Rebecca check you out. And take care of yourself. Thanks. So, just a haircut for today? Well, actually, I, I got a few hairs cut. <laughs> So she gave you two haircuts? Uh, it, n n no, 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 just, just got the one haircut. Um, I, I was trying to make a joke. Uh, oh, right. Okay, so that'll be 17 for today. Did you want to go ahead and schedule your next appointment? Actually, would it be all right if I called for that? Um, sure. Did you want to call now? Or? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call back in a few weeks um, when I need a haircut. Sounds like a plan. Well, that was fast. What's that? I, I was just gonna say that, uh, you know, we, we're, we're getting out at the same time and you have a lot more hair than I do. So when's the next uh, movie night at your church? I think in a few weeks. Um, ask Angelica. She'll let you know. Yeah, well, uh, perhaps I'll see you there. Perhaps. Hmm. Well, maybe we could see each other before that. What do you mean? Well, what uh, What I mean is, uh, what are you doing Friday? Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to ask my boyfriend. Boyfriend? What? What was all that talk? About? Oh, oh. Um, phone's ringing. You know, I, I, I got to. It's, it's, it's an emergency. You know. Woo, woo. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Oh. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Patrick. I'll be with you in a minute. Okay. So anyway, there's, um, there'll be no, uh, you booking or face spacing or twaddling or chat snapping or personal Hello? phone calls. Hey, girl. Excuse me. Yes. What? Hello. No, he didn't. Tell me all about it. Seriously? I'm going to text him. Patrick, how are you? Oh, um, good, good. Um, so. So? I don't see any uh, Angelica. Oh, good news. She, she had an uncle that uh, died and left her a lot of money? <laughs> no. She decided to take her vacation rather spontaneously. And that's, that's good news. Why? Well, you see, her and her boyfriend decided to go on a retreat, and I kind of suspect he's going to propose to her. So, okay. So, uh, how do you know all this? Well, you see, Angelica and her boyfriend, Fred, they go to my church, mm -hmm. and Fred and I are in choir together. And lately, he's been dropping a lot of hints. Wow. Okay. So, um, good for her. Excuse me, I, I'm gonna make a phone call. Oh, hey, man. Um, yeah, yeah, it's been a while. Um, so I, I'm just kind of wondering, you, you still hang around the, the same people and whatnot? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I was kind of wondering if uh, you know it might be possible to uh, to kind of kind of get together and whatnot. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a great idea. Yeah, oh, e even better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can, can you uh, can you help arrange that? Or uh... yeah, that that works perfectly. That's 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 awesome. Thanks, thanks a lot, man. That's that, that means a lot. Thanks.
<laughs> Bye. <laughs> Can you take the next customer? I'm sure. going to go on break. Okay. Oh, besides, he's been checking you out since he walked in. Oh. Oh. What can I get you? Oh. When did you start working here? Uh, about a week ago. I Just for the time being. Uh, my roommate moved out, so I need the extra cash until I find a new roommate. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, so, can I get you something to drink? Uh, diet no ice? Sure. Coming up. Uh, Lena? Um, what? Do you want to get uh, lunch sometime? Um, I don't know. Come on. I'm trying to save money. I'll, I'll buy. I only have 30 minutes for lunch. We can get fast food. That's fattening. Well, you could order a salad. Hmm. Um, let me think about it. There you go. Oh, thank you. Hey, Lena. Hey. Catholic. Hey, Matt. So are you hosting the Bible study tonight? Yeah, it actually starts in a half hour, so I'm a little bit early. Oh, great. I actually should be done my shift by then. I will be able to join you guys. Cool. What about you, Catholic? Uh, remember, I, I don't do book clubs. So, um, how about lunch? Um... I... Okay. Cool. But let me ask you a question first. Uh, what's that? Did you know I was working here? No. Nope. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I, I was just uh, driving by in my car, and I got, I got really thirsty, and uh, I saw this place. Okay. Stan! Am I glad to see you? No, I don't have any more sisters-in-law. No, 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 it's not about that. It, do you remember Lena? Lena, uh, Lena? Well, uh, the Lutheran. Oh, yes. <laughs> Lutheran Lena. Vaguely. Well, I, I, I just saw her inside there, and she finally, she, she finally agreed to go out to lunch with me. So? Well, so I've been trying to get her to do that for forever. You know, I, at first I had, like, trouble with the fact that she was from a, a different faith and stuff like that. Oh, now I remember. You do? <laughs> yeah, you guys were in the friend zone. And she kept trying, but you were just a little too dumb to let it sink in. No, 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 no. That, that's not it. I, I, I was just ignorant to the fact that, that she was from a different religion, but, but now... And now, what, she converted? Well, no, 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 no. That, now it doesn't matter. I love her. <gasps> You just watch how you use that word. That is a serious declaration. <laughs> it's true. So, you're sure then? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm ready. Hmm. Good luck, my friend. Godspeed. Thank you. I gotta take off. <laughs> you always do. Thank you, Stan. Patrick, come on in. So it's been what, like 10 months? It has. And what are your sins? <laughs> Good one. So 10 months is a long time. That it is. So catch me up to speed here. Did you ever get that ring back from Melissa? <laughs> no, no. Seriously? No, I'm serious. Uh, it's, it's kind of a complicated Ooh. situation. I think she's actually going to be uh, uh, coming back from her mission trip about like two months early or something like that, too. Yeah, I thought she'd be gone for a year. I don't know. Maybe she's uh, homesick. You know, she she uh, said that she's got a surprise for me. So hopefully that means that she's found someone else and isn't going to be needing the ring anymore. God is my witness. I am going to get that promise ring back. <laughs> well, with that being said, that still leaves one burning question. Lena. Yes. What about Lena? That's why I'm here, you know. Um, 
the past number of months have been like some sort of crazy whirlwind, and I've uh, you know I've dated my fair share of women, and and I finally realized what was right there in front of me. You know, I, I was I was I was treating Lena like a jackass. I, I more like a, an annoying little sister than as uh, well. It, it it just sort of it it, it hit me. She's the one. Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't feel like I'm, I'm uh, running against the wind. You know, it, it, it feels good. It feels right. Um, I, I feel ready. You know, this is, this is it. Do your parents know about this? Well, no, no, but, but, but I will. <laughs> okay, so how serious are you guys? Like, how long have you been dating? Well, we, we haven't been, but... Wait. What? No, no, no. We're, we're going we're gonna to be spending the day together, all right? And we're going to have some lunch, and I'm going to tell her how I feel, and, uh, um, yeah, I, I feel good about it. Okay, so what about Melissa? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell her the truth, that, that I cannot and will not have feelings for her. It's, um, it's Lena all the way. So it's Lena all the way. <laughs> well, my friend, you know you have my support. My complete support. And I can see it in you. You're serious about this. I haven't seen you like this since we were 11 and your parents got you a bike and a sled for Christmas. You remember that? Of course. You rode the bike and pulled me in the sled through the snow. Man, you got a good memory. So, I'm just saying I can see that same excitement in you right now. So, hit me up when you're ready to propose. And I will, of course, ask you to be my best man. You got it, buddy. All right, I, I got to... Uh, I know, you got to take off. Send me a message. Let me know how it goes. Will do. Every morning I, I get up early I, I make my way to work and try to push away the pain Every hour I, I count them down and I Keep myself awake and know it's all in vain. I always knew that she is the best for me. I didn't realize some things were lost along the way. I want her to know she is the best. Not that I don't care, I want to do my best, but I seem to get behind when I try to find a better way. And I just can't go on. What are you doing here? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> And I could say I, I had enough of it and tell them where to go. But I hold the words I want to tell them. I, I think of her and I put down the thing I was ready to throw. When I'm up against a wall and I, I don't know what to do at all. I wonder what's going on in there. Oh, they're doing karaoke all day. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, the woman singing now is tearing it up. Hey, uh... Mom calling? Yeah, yeah, I gotta take this, uh... One second here. Hey, Mom. Um, can't talk long. I, I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry I raised my voice to you. No, 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 no. Uh, I was out of line. Um, yeah, I... I I gotta run out with Lena right now. Love you, Mom. Bye. 
right there. Thanks. <laughs> It's about two friends that keep missing their chance at a relationship. It's about us. Hi, I'm Tabitha. I'll be your server. I know you. From Facebook? No, 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 no. You, uh, you worked as like a temp for a day at the place where I work? Oh, yeah. I'm a full-time temp. Hmm. You know what's really hard to find a good job? I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why either. <laughs> so are you guys ready to order? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'd like to go with the... Uh... Hello? No, I'm just at work. <laughs> What would you like? Uh, 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 can we start with two waters? Shut to... up. What'd I say? Oh, you know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> you know that's not what you want. I don't want it. What do you want? I don't know! I'll give you guys a few minutes. That was strange. <sighs> Lucky this time. Yeah, you did. For sure. Who are they? They're kind of like my relationship advisors, maybe. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Um, uh, almost as weird as Melissa walking in with a baby. <laughs> that would be. Patrick, I have something to tell you. Oh, God.